Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at a Scottish import. This one is from Innocent Gun. This is their Innocent Gun Rum Cask. Comes in at 7.4%. It's basically an English strong ale, verging on like a Scotch ale that's aged in barrels for 60 days. 30 days in American oak and 30 days in Navy, Navy rum barrels. And then it's aged an additional 47 days, I believe probably in the barrels or in steel tanks to kind of mellow everything out. This one, and I was a little bit scared by it because it does come in a clear, uh, clear, excuse me, bottle. Um, but the actual four pack that it comes in is like completely sealed, protected from lights. So you're not going to get any uh, light strike or anything. So I've never had an innocent gun. People have suggested that I try some of their oak age stuff. So looking forward to this one. A little bit different for me. So let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the innocent gun rum cask. All right, guys, so the Innocent Gun Rum Cast, the appearance, it's a beautiful, beautiful dark ruby red, blood red, where the light's hitting the glass. It's a little bit brighter, like a, like just a ruby. Um, crystal clear, I can see straight through it. Nice carbonation coming out the bottom of the glass. <clears throat> there might have been a, a finger of a, it's a really bright white head on there, dissipating pretty quickly. Cask age, I would, I would suggest, I would expect that, I should say. Um, a little bit of alcohol legs in there, nice lacing. Yeah, it's just a really, really pretty looking beer. All right, the aroma on the rum cask. See, that's what worries me. I'm get, definitely getting a little bit of skunking in there. Even though it was in a sealed, you know, cardboard container, there's definitely a little bit of skunking. Definitely getting a nice graininess in there, kind of a sweet, uh, sugary, caramely graininess. Definitely getting some of the rum cask, the, the rum barrels as well. Um, it's a sweet, kind of spicy, oaky, uh, aromatic smell. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place and the skunkiness kind of like puts me off a little bit, but let's see what the taste is. All right guys, the taste on the Innocent Gun rum cask. Cheers. Right at the front of the tongue, there's a nice shot of like a, a raisiny, plum kind of sweetness. Really, really big sweetness. Middle of the mouth, more of the body starts to come out. I'm getting a, a caramel, toffee, definitely a big graininess, almost verging on like an adjunct lagery type of graininess in there. Um, but it mixes with that sweetness and it all kind of comes together. Definitely getting some spiciness from the rum, a nice kind of sweetness from the rum characters. Definitely in there, some, some of that oakiness as well. I'm getting that American oak. It's a, a spicy, woody, kind of herbal essence that adds to the, sh the sweetness of the actual beer. And I gotta tell you, the aftertaste is definitely pretty sweet. Definitely a sweet beer. I'm trying to see how many times I can say definitely, by the way. Definitely a sweet beer. Aftertaste, more of that rum kind of spiciness. It's a warming beer. Um, for 7.4%, you don't taste the alcohol, but it's just a very warm, spicy, kind of herbal, earthy beer. Um, it's really, really an interesting beer. I mean, I, it's, it's not fantastic, but it's really interesting. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Innocent Gun Rum Cask, 7.4%, available now in four packs and single bottles if you can get them. Guys, I'm gonna give this one a B minus. Not at the top of my list of the best Scotch ales I've ever had or the best English strong ales I've ever had, but it has elements of quality and greatness to it that I really liked. My big issue is the aroma. I was getting a lot of skunkiness and the aroma that was mixing with the rum and mixing with the sweet kind of caramel flavors and it really killed it for me. Luckily, the taste, you don't get any of the skunkiness in the taste. Big sweet caramel notes, toffee notes, just like a scotch ale should be, kind of dark fruits in there. And that rum character really, really kind of just punctuates this beer, really adds that spicy herbal note, uh, mixed with that American oak kind of, you know, delicate, delicate kind of flavor in there. And it really comes together ultimately to be a really drinkable beer. Is it great? No. Is it an interesting beer? Absolutely. Is it worth trying? I think it is. So with that said, guys, it's going to get a B minus from me. And remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.